So this is a short product demo for test our platform for codeless automated testing. Let's go to the test section. As you can see here we have a test suite which contains two test cases. The first one goes to our homepage and the next one sends a message from the contact us section. So let's quickly have a look at the steps inside these uh, test cases. So as you can see the first one it goes to our URL http and test.io. The next step is to take a screenshot and the third step is uh, verifying the page title. So as you can see here we've added an assertion to check the title if, to see if it matches the following string. Okay, let's go to our second test case. So like I said the second test case is uh, for sending a message from the contact us section. So as you can see here we're going to the contact us page by clicking on the specific link from the home page. As you can see here you have several types of actions which uh, simulate user actions so you basically are testing from the perspective of an end user. Okay. The next steps are about writing text in the inputs. So as you can see here, we're writing the name, email, subject, and uh, message. And we're identifying those inputs by IDs. And here you can see the text that you are writing there. All right. Uh, again, we're taking a screenshot and we're clicking on the submit button to send the message. As you can see, again, we're identifying it by an ID. And the last step is an assertion. You need an assertion to validate if a test case has either passed or failed. So in this case, what we're checking is the success message, if uh, the success message is, is displayed. So what we are doing here is identifying that specific container for the success message and simply checking if it contains the word successfully. If it does, that means that our test case will pass. Alright, now we can just download that test suite. Uh, in the near future we will have a run button here, so you would just uh, click it and the test would run on, on infrastructure and you will get the results as uh, soon as it finishes. But right now we can only export the test suite, which means that we are downloading it and running it on our uh, computer. So as you can see here we have several options for exporting, for setting the browser and also the format. Right now you can download an executable file format and a Python file format. I will choose executable because it only requires me to have Chrome driver in my directory. It does not require me to have anything else. So let's download. Okay, so our download has finished and we can go in this one. Uh, okay, as you can see, I downloaded it earlier, so this is just a cop another copy of it. So let's just run it. Oh, this is also the Chrome driver which I mentioned. Okay, so I will just run it. Now it will open an instance of Google Chrome. Go to the URL that we have provided, which is our home page. As you can remember, in this page, it would only take a screenshot and then move on to the contact us section, where it automatically writes the message, submits, and that's it. And now, what we have here uh, is the results. As you can see, it generates a text file, which is named text results. Okay. And here you can see the date and time, and also uh, our test cases and the status. So here we can see that actually both test cases have passed. Okay, 
and also you remember we selected steps for taking screenshots these are stored in a separate folder and you can actually see the screenshots here so the screenshot from the home page and the screenshot from the contact us section so here uh, let's say additionally you can visually check if the page uh, matched your uh, visual ex 